Hella cravings for some fries I did one push up in a cry And my glutes up shaking Every time that I lunge And this gluten free bread Tastes just like a sponge Hella pizza late at night Okay, well here we are again Four to six weeks after the um, CT cardioangiogram We're now about to go through the procedure of having a more traditional angiogram Such as to wire up the artery Yep I wonder if they'll refund the $800 given that they said this would be the option I don't think so somehow. Here I am waiting for my turn to go and get scanned. Oh. Anyway, <clears throat> this is the very first part of uh, what hopefully will be a uh, series that I'll put together when I come out of it, the other side. Uh, it's, uh, it's about 3am. Managed to get a couple of hours sleep in a row, which was awesome. And have to leave here. I'll get up about 5am to go to the Royal Brisbane Hospital this time. At uh, a 7am appointment. So anyway... We'll uh, continue this along the way and see how we go. See ya. Basically, I'm pretty sure that if there was anything urgently wrong with me, um, I would have heard pretty soon. Um, yep, so one of the videos that I have to put together, which I was meant to put up at least a week ago, is the results from my CT cardioangiogram. Unfortunately, a week later I did get the results the other day, and not quite as good as I'd hoped. I've got uh, some quote-unquote moderate to severe blockages. in the arteries. I think the actual heart's okay. But, uh, yeah. So now I have to have a formal an um, angiogram, which is kind of annoying because a uh, cardiologist gave me this one I just did as an option. A non-invasive option. So um, why did I actually do that apart from paying $800? I don't know. Okay, so I've been shaved. Uh, can you learn? All good so far. I'm gonna be too loud about Let's take a little picture of myself. So far, so good.
smartphone episode. And look, his Teddy. Teddy made it into the into the shot. Mm. Pretty sure I don't understand that one. Um, while well, I'm back home, I wasn't expecting that at all. Anyway, so what happened is um, I put some still shots there. I don't know what happened. It's just, I, uh, if you saw my um, my thing last time about the, the results of the CT cardioangiogram, I was full of well, it's full of blockages, and yet uh, no blockages whatsoever today. And uh, even the cardiologist, I heard him the way he said it. He said, "There's no blockages here." Then they ran a uh, horrible thing. I'll put the, the top of my head because I'm a bit woozy. Just got home. Uh, as usual, make sure you've got someone that can drive you around for at least a few days. Um, by the way, his, I don't know if you can see them. My legs are all iodined up. I'll do a couple of stills. Oh, I've got the hickeys here. I'm not supposed to use any any uh, force on the, that wrist because it went up a main artery. Long and the short is uh, it's quite bewildering that nobody can seem to answer why one moment I have blockages next minute I don't. Anyway Definitely starting to sound like uh, you could easily get carried away and think uh, corruption. They've made a lot of money out of me and other people. Most odd. Point is, I made it to the other side. Uh, we will investigate this one further. Someone suggested I take it to the media. But uh, hey, if you really want to think along those lines, then chances are the media is already... Uh, controlled by the same people that are making all the money. It's just odd. There was another fellow there too. Thought he'd be going for a couple of stents as well, but um, no, let him home as well. I'm quite pleased about it. Uh, basically my arteries are good. No sign of blockages or anything. Yeah. Okay, that's the crux of the matter. It is confusing. Have to take it easy for a few days to a week, no driving, no stress hopefully. Um, anything else I'll just pop below. Gonna have to have a nap now, I'm gonna crash out for a bit. Just using the low res camera on this uh, smartphone, just to keep with the consistency of it all, but uh, yeah. Don't know, to be continued I'd say because uh, that's most peculiar. I mean, I'm pleased as punch that there's no uh, blockages, but, um, hmm. Tell me what you think. You ever heard of such a thing? All right, main thing is I just want to get this up and let you guys know that uh, all is good as far as that goes, and um, we return to our normal schedule ASAP. Thanks for joining me and thanks for sending the love because I'll tell you what, if that's what did it, it well and truly took any plug and blew them out of my arteries, that's for sure. See ya. Just wanted to add something on the end here. Um, I've got 15 minutes sleep, if, if that, on my nap. So, uh, just looking at the sheet that came... Uh, with it, it's a fair bit of different chemicals they pumped into me. Anyway, uh, knowing what I know now, you're going to be able to see two different type of um, angiogram ventures. You won't see the operation. Which, which would I go for? Um, well, of course, the one today. It is definitive. So, uh, if you're looking at the CT cardioangiogram, if you're given the choice, and naturally you probably want to go the way I went and think, well, it's non-invasive. 
went through all that, not to mention expense, uh, for nothing, because it gave me all these um, false positives, evidently, and uh, for what good? Had to go and do it all today. So, yep, no. Go for the gold standard one. Uh, certainly, no, it's not pleasant. But overall, once you get your head around things, it's not bad. Thank you for that plane. And, um, yeah. Uh, now I've forgotten the term already. I, I will end up posting it because fractal. Look, I'm too tired to bother. Um, I'll just put it up under here. Um, it's a fractal something or other. That's the only part I didn't like. I didn't like it at all. It was the only, only hitch to the whole procedure. And that was the last desperate thing to make sure there were no little micro arteries that were being affected. And um, they weren't. But just at the time, um, I mean, I was anxious. And uh, all I wanted to do was sit up once I had that and just catch my breath. It did make me breathe a lot faster. And, uh, well, yeah. So he ran through a couple of bouts of those, and um, thankfully that was the very last of it. Everyone was excellent. They're brilliant. And uh, could not be better. So you're in good, safe hands. Don't worry about doing it. I was just extremely lucky that um, that's... You know, apart from obviously uh, which everyone needs to do anyway if you're not already doing a, a lifestyle change and with me obviously that includes smoking or non-smoking but um, yeah I was very lucky I didn't even need stents so that was the minimum I was expecting um, there's big eyes by the way I think we can catch big eyes big eyes hey Whoa, she said, oh, there I go. She said, you know, it's almost tea time again. Oh, that's fine. Okay, rough as guts this video, but uh, hopefully gets the message across. Any questions, drop me a line and I'll answer you properly. Okay, this is Steve signing off. Luckily, with you.